Welcome to add a single field to multiple tables. Hi, I'm Eric. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can add a field to multiple tables uh, with the simple object designer and had that field being connected uh, between the tables. Um, so let's get into it. Here is the simple object designer. I have installed this from, from AppSource. And I'm going to create a field now. And in this case, I'm going to create a field in table 36. I could look it up, but I know the numbers. So this is the sales header. And I just want to call this demo field because I'm running out of clever ideas. Uh, and this is, let's just do this as a text, demo field text. And let's quickly put this on, um, on the sales order. So let's add the demo field after uh, posting date. How about posting date? That's a good one. So we'll add this after posting date. Okay, so here's the thing. In order for a field to work across different tables, we make sure that it has it is the same field, so to speak. So I'm actually going, going to uh, going to personalize this uh, the, the create fields view here and I'm just going to add the field number. So behind the scene the simple object designer assigns field numbers to a field. In this case you can see that we have added two fields to the location that's 50,000 and 50,001 because in the setup we assigned 50,000 to be the starting of our number range. Um, so that works great here. So let me go and add a field to table 112, if I can, I, I do know my numbers. That's the posted sales invoice. So you can see this one gets the same number and we're just going to ignore the column, but not going to type in it. We're just going to make sure that it's actually the same field. So I'm just going to F8 here and F8 here and F8. Well, it's already there. It's called demo field. And let me go back and put this on the poster sales invoice document. Um, and what was the anchor we used? I think we used posting date. So this is on posting date. Add off the posting date. So now we added two fields that are kind of the same in two related tables. So I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to publish this to my environment. And they're deploying. So the secret trick here, and, and this does not work everywhere, but it works in lots of places, is that there is a in, sorry for the, uh, the the techie talk, but but internally there's what is known as a field transfer, meaning that fields from the sales header get transferred to the the posted invoice header, and as long as they are the same field, uh, so number, name, and type, uh, it will get transferred. So let's take a look at our extension management and see how our deployment is doing. I'll go to deployment status here, and this one is in progress. So I very impatiently hit a five here. Um, and you can get, you can see that there's actually, I, I, did a, I did a deployment earlier where it failed because I was putting a field on a page that the field was already there. So Microsoft said, no, no, you cannot do that, um, which is totally fair. Uh, and this, sometimes this is fast, sometimes this is slow. It really depends on where you're putting it and, and the size of the, the tables and how busy Microsoft servers happen to be. And now it's completed. So let's hurry into a sales order and take a look at this one. And we'll just grab the first one and that is by oh somebody made a change to the system let's actually uh, truly reload this so we're not getting into trouble with that admin guy because he can be really strict uh, so let's reload this uh, 
and we're reloading. So what we want to do now is back into sales orders. And we want to put a value in the new field we just created. And so you get a screen up first where that how it looks before the last time we opened this and then you figure out that there's a new field. So we'll put a, a demo value into, into this field. Then let's post the invoice, ship an invoice. And we're posting away. We are posting away, we're posting lines, we are posting sales and VAT, we are posting customer and balance account. And just in a second, we're hopefully done. Do you want to open the post invoice? That's exactly what we want to do. And you can see here, here is our demo field and it has a demo value. So we added the same field to two different tables, make sure that they were alike. And by the magic of Business Central and because there's a relationship between those two tables, the value is transferred. So that is how easy it is to add fields to, uh, to Business Central using this, the simple object designer. If you want to know more, you can uh, grab the app from, uh, from App Source and try it out. The first field is free. Or you can visit hogart.com slash designer and check it out. Uh, I hope you have fun. Take care.